going on guys mighty light here today and we're going to be doing a vlog slash update type video we're going to take a look at getting this hard drive into that pc and getting ready to build this pc right off the bat uh i had some troubles with some games like apex and warzone and some softwares and stuff was just lagging especially in like games where i would move the mouse and my game would just kind of jitter and i would lose a lot of frames i would be running at like 20 40 frames per second check uh task manager performance is fine my cpu would be performing at like 20 to 40 percent my gpu would be around that too it's like there's capacity for it to handle it for some reason the softwares and stuff weren't running like they're supposed to so i went through and updated a bunch of stuff I updated my bios i updated uh windows and ultimately i fixed it but before i managed to fix it i had kind of decided that i would clone uh, my drive basically get prepared for this pc because i did put the motherboard that is supposed to go on this pc in here to test it originally and to try to get my capture card to work but as i explained in my motherboard video my initial plan didn't work out but it's been in there since but now that and the two m.2 drives that are in there have to come out the 500 gigabyte c drive that's in there right now is going to be c drive for this and this is going to be the new c drive for this pc because this is going to be purely for gaming and then this pc is going to be purely for media streaming editing and and stuff like that so i'm going to clone my current c drive to this and then reset that drive reinstall windows on that i think the usb thing that i bought i think it comes with two or license for two devices if it doesn't i'll just buy windows again i mean what else am i gonna do so everything that I need, that I know that I need, and I've kind of scanned through and looked a few times, double checked over, but there's probably still things that I could potentially back up and save. But everything that I could think of so far has been backed up to my uh, external hard drive. So we're ready to clone this. I'm about to open it up and plug it in and get the clone going. And then we're going to uh, wipe the other drive or reset it, get Windows going, and then swap the motherboard. So we're basically get everything prepped for the build. Anyways, uh, I'll get this going and I'll update as we go. All right, so I know you probably can't see very well, but using Macrium Reflect, I looked up how to clone because I've never done this before. This was the software that was suggested, this and a few others, but this software I can clone, which means it'll take a direct copy of my current drive. And if it's an operating system drive, I can boot from that drive that I cloned to. The difference between that and like making a backup where uh, I guess it's called imaging. So imaging, uh, you can copy the files exactly how they are from one drive to another many times. And it's good for making like backups. So if I wanted to back up my whole uh, C drive, I can make multiple backups on that same thing. I'm not sure how that works as far as like booting from them, but we're going to be cloning. So that means i'll be able to boot just like everything is right now on this hard drive all right here i have this left far left one checked because i want this whole drive and all its partitions cloned so i'm going to hit clone this disc right and then select this to clone to i want to clone to this one i deleted the existing partition i'm not sure if i had to do that or not but i'm going to do it anyways because we don't need that this is now going to copy straight over All right, run this back up now. Um, before I wipe the drive, obviously I'm gonna make sure that this drive works like it's supposed to. It's gonna take a while, um, so I'll get back to you guys. All right, so the clone is complete. We're going to check the uh, cloned drive, the Samsung drive to see if everything works. So I'm in my BIOS right now, and we're gonna configure our boot so that we boot to our Samsung drive instead. All right, so I think all I have to do is uh, change the priority. So boot option one is right now on the Sabrent uh, drive, and I wanna click this one right there, boom. And then I think this needs to be there. This should work now. Uh, save and exit, save changes, yes. And then we can exit out now. It's important to restart your computer. Um, otherwise the changes might not uh, be actually applied. At this point, I'm gonna take out all the parts that I'm gonna use for the gaming PC, like the 2070, the white set of 
two by eight gigabyte RAM and the motherboard, obviously, and the drives. Take all that out uh, in preparation for our gaming PC build and then install the drive and everything how it's supposed to be and put my old 1060 inside and uh, get this PC back up and running in the meantime so I can edit. Alrighty, uh, we got it all back together. I did run into a couple things. Um, first of all, I had a M.2 Genie error where my computer wouldn't finish booting because whatever was going on. And so it took me a little bit to figure it out, but I went into the BIOS and just disabled the M.2 Genie. I'm not sure exactly what it does and why it was having issues and how it got enabled, if it enables automatically when you plug in an M.2 or not or what. But for whatever reason it was causing issues, I disabled it and everything's working now. Something else that was interesting, I don't need another Windows license. <laughs> I guess I already have one. So if you uh, seen my first vlog video, uh, the motherboard swap, I swapped our used Z390 Ace motherboard for our Gaming Plus one. 
And when I did that, I had to reactivate Windows because I guess swapping the motherboard makes it a new computer. So you have to have a new Windows license for that. So I called Microsoft and was like, well, my motherboard is kind of broken and I replaced it. So, which it, I mean, it is, it's still functional, but yeah. So I explained to them that I swapped the motherboard and that I, for whatever reason, have to activate Windows again, and they're like, okay, well, give us a second, here's this key, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it took a while, but I guess they gave me a key, and from what I understood, my old key wasn't supposed to be active anymore. But apparently it must be, because I don't need a key for this computer now that I swapped back. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's nice. Uh, anyways, on a slightly unrelated note, a friend of mine, shout out to Connor, uh, gave me this Elgato HD60S. Um, although I already have bought in this Avermedia Live Gamer HD2, I think is what it's called. So we'll give both the shot, although I'm pretty sure the Avermedia one's going to be perfectly suitable. So this will probably end up using it for a cam link or for streaming Xbox games or Switch games. So probably still get some use out of it. So thank you, Connor. Uh, but if you guys want to see a direct comparison video of the Avermedia versus the Elgato HD6, Yes, then I could do that. Just let me know in the comments. And with that, I think that's going to be all. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If you guys have any suggestions for tutorials or videos or, I mean, even games that you want to see, um, let me know.